Well, I grew up in foster care, and so I never went to high school whatsoever, and I ended up committing crime to survive after 18, and I went in and out of jail for several years until I went to prison at 28. It was in jail that Tammy taught herself to read, and she eventually made it all the way here to Sac State. She attended the forum on basic needs today because she says she's so grateful. That's honestly what has rehabilitated me is education. And so when I think that I might have to drop out because I have to feed my family or I have to have gas to take my grandchildren to the doctor or something like that, it's, it's really scary for me. Noel Mora is the student body president at Sac State. He also spoke at the event. We forget students are and a university is a microcosm of the larger state. You know, student basic needs are California's basic needs. And sadly, something is missing. University President Robert Nelson admits the four-year graduation rate is only 14%. He, like Noel Mora, acknowledges there are numerous unmet needs. Seeing firsthand students that sleep out of their cars in parking lots, the student parent who is taking care of a child and can't be put in a shared room for what's, you know, emergency housing. Uh, I think that students and different types of students especially are going to be at that vulnerable, especially vulnerable place. For now, legislators and university officials are focusing on four major areas, food, housing, transportation, and books. It comes down to the anxiety of not knowing if you're going to have a couch to sleep on, if you're going to have somewhere to, to stay, if you're going to have a full meal or even just a meal at the end of that day. But there are success stories. Tammy was granted a full pardon by the governor and is set to graduate in just two weeks.